Game starts at 20, best slip is empty. I gotta call KG. KG, what I up? I got nothing for you, Fox. Ah, come on. Jalen, you wanna tell? Yeah. Don't call somebody on live TV. Well, like you I answered. I have other friends anyway. Marshawn, Barry. Listen, I need some tips. I'm like LA. LA? No, no, Dallas. That's how Dallas? 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 How about Detroit? Barry, I'm calling you right now. Vanessa. I got a tip for you. Always go with your gut. I like that. Let's go with our gut. Hey, this is Dave Weishato from House of Cards with your House of Cards Gaming Report for the week of June 12, 2023. According to the American Gaming Association, 14 of the top 20 commercial casino gaming markets in 2022 saw revenue growth compared to the previous year. The Las Vegas Strip remained the largest casino gaming market in the country last year, and although the Strip saw fewer visitors in 2022 compared to the pre-pandemic years, those visitors spent more money on gaming. IGT announced that it has introduced the first omni-channel video progressive jackpot in the United States via a Wheel of Fortune slot game. This new progressive game will be available in New Jersey and allows Garden State players the chance to win a jackpot combined from the land-based, mobile, and online versions of the Wheel of Fortune slot machine. The game has 18 unique themes across New Jersey casinos and has a $500,000 jackpot reset value. And finally, all you horse racing fans in California have something to celebrate. Caesars Racebook is now live in California. That is the 16th state the online horse racing app is now live in. And those other states are Colorado, Florida, Indiana, Kentucky, Louisiana, Maryland, Massachusetts, Minnesota, Montana, North Dakota, Oregon, Ohio, Pennsylvania, Washington, and Wyoming. Have any news or tips regarding casinos, gaming, or legislation? Send us an email at newsroom at houseofcardsradio.com and follow us on Twitter at HOC Radio.